this entire designing phase would be occupied by three parts one would be the interface the architectural and the detailed design now during the interface design the internal systems are completely ignored components of specific major system their responsibilities their interfaces and relationship between them every single component that is involved in the process of making the model Good morning and welcome to the second session in Unit 1, 5th Semester BCA, Software Engineering, where we're going to speak about software design and implementation. Now, this is going to be an interesting process and a class. Why? Because designing is something that everybody wants to be a part of. Now, whenever we talk about any kind of design, not only the software process, but that might be an interior design or a car design or a product design, everybody wants to bring in the best of their creativity. Now, coming to the design phase of a software, the development deals with transforming the customer requirements as described in the SRS documents, that's the software requirements document, into an implemented form of programming language. The software design process this is defined or into this three phases called as interface, architectural and a detailed design model. Now let's first try to understand how does the design model actually emerge in a software process. Now the designing phase is something where you are going to translate a requirement into action. Till now you were only trying to read through the documents trying to understand what are the requirements, how these requirements can fit in, what are the technology capabilities that are needed in order to make this particular software. But moment it comes to design, you are actually putting the words into action. So that's where using a programming language, it might be Java, it might be .NET, it might be C++, it might be any other forms of software languages that we are programming languages that we are speaking, which would be put into action to translate those requirements into a live model. Now, this entire designing phase would be occupied by three parts. One would be the interface, the architectural, and the detailed design. So let us go in and try to understand what are these, followed by an architectural kind of a component. That's what we are going to speak about. Now an architectural, this is the conceptual model that defines the structure, behavior, and views of a system. So whenever we are talking about structure, we're talking about behavior and the views. So this is going to give the overall picture about the software model. Now, this would be illustrated with various flowcharts, trying to tell you what exactly the models are, how they are, followed by the modules. These are the components that can handle one specific task in a system. So this is very, very important for us, followed by a combination of the modules make up the system. So there is a whole lot of combination, a whole lot of things that combine to make up this particular system. So that's where this becomes very, very important for all of us to study, followed by the components. This provides a particular function or group of a related activities or function they are made up of modules so you would be able to see that there is a whole lot of process here that comes into picture and they provide a particular function or a group related that so when they are connected to each other each of the modules will try to speak to them in terms of interaction interfaces this is shared by a boundary across the components of the system that is going to be exchanging information with the user and the data that's going to manage the information that's going to be given here. Followed by which the interface design, let's get into it. This is the most interesting part. Why? Because this is where you are going to interact with the system. Now, an interface design is the specification and interaction between a system and its environment. So when I'm talking about the environment, it is a combination factor where you're seeing a system and the environment getting into a phase. And this phase proceeds at a high level of abstraction with respect to the inner workings of a system. Now, during the interface design, the internal systems are completely ignored. 
and the system is treated as a black box. So this is very, very important for each one of us at this juncture to understand how exactly we are talking about this particular phase or this particular system. Now, for example, if we are going to put in certain specification, there's going to be some interaction that's going to happen here. So now at a high level of abstraction, as I'm talking about, with respect to that of the lower level, that's what is functioning behind the system, the interface is going to create a bridge. So you're going to interact, find out how exactly each and every component is working, each and every command is working, and how when you give that particular design specification, a particular work methodology, how they are going to react all together. So the user would be highly interested in the interface design followed by the architectural design. Now, as I've told you, this is the components of specific major system, their responsibilities, their interfaces and relationship between them. In an architectural design, the overall structure of the system is chosen and the internal details of the major components are ignored. So why I'm getting into this factor here is that I'm going to give you a complete structural view, the overall skeleton view of the software program, which is going to talk about the various components that are involved here. Now, if you look here, I'm going to also talk about their responsibilities, properties, interfaces, relationship at different levels, and what are all the architectural design that is coming into picture. Now, in an architectural design, the overall system is only going to be chosen. So when I'm going to talk about this, I'm going to just put the overall picture to you, but I'm not going to specify exactly how the major components are going to work. So that means to say that the internal details and the other components would be specified sometime later. Right now, I'm just going to give you the big picture of how the software is going to be designed followed by which the detailed design, this is what we would be looking in. Why? Because this is going to talk about every single component that is involved in the process of making the model. So this will also talk about their properties, relationships, processing, and often their algorithms that are involved in data structure. So what is that? The decomposition of major system components, allocation of functional responsibility, the user interfaces, unit states and changes, data and control interaction between the units. Now, just look at the amount of detailing I'm talking about with you. First thing is that what are all the major components that are going to be involved in this process? So that will be designed into program units and other factors. Allocation of functional responsibilities to the units. Yes, that's very much needed. Why? Because the factors of how this function is going to happen, which function has to be called for, what is the use of the function is coming up there, followed by the user interfaces. So what are all the points at which the user will interact with the system? Where will he get in touch with the system? All those factors are there. Then comes the unit states and the changes that are going to happen with that particular state, the data and control interaction that at which we are going to talk about between the units. So when multiple units are going to talk and they're going to exchange the values, so this also comes into picture. With this, I come to the end of this particular session. Why? Because this is only about the design and implementation. In the upcoming session, we are going to take the design to the next level where we would be talking about how the implementation process and flow needs to go in, in terms of understanding the entire software process module. But until then, stay tuned, stay blessed. Thank you once again for joining me today on this wonderful session.